In this lecture, we're going to learn how to modify existing rows and columns in our data frame. But first, we're going to look at updating columns, then learn how to update some rows. But when you look at our data frame, in the previous lessons, we set the column state to be the index of our data frame. So back to the top of our notebook, where we loaded our data, we're going to remove the index underscore column here and then run the cell. Now, if we look at the head of our data frame, then it's normal. We have the state column and pandas automatically give us a default index values. So now we're gonna run all our cells in our Jupyter notebook. So click on cell and then run all. But seems we have a problem. When I scroll top a little bit, now here is the problem we are actually trying to access the index california from our data frame but now our data frame only has an integer value for the indexes so i'm gonna comment it out and then run the cell also the next cell i'm gonna select and then comment it out and then run the cell so what I'm actually going to do is to click on cell and then run all below. Now we have our data frame with the state column instead of being as the index of our data frame. Now before we start, I'm going to create a header by changing the cell type here from code to markdown and then type updating rows and columns and then run the cell. So. If we want to look at the column names of our data frame, I'm going to say data, then dot columns. When I run the cell, then we get back the column names of our data frame. And one thing that you might typically see is accessing a particular column of data frame using the dot notation. For example, if I want to access products, then I can say data dot product. When I run the cell, then we get back the product column from our data frame. But one thing to note here is that this method does not apply to all type of column names. For example, if you look at the column for total expenses, market size, and product type, they all have space in between each word. And if we try to access, let's say, the product type column, using the dot notation and then run the cell. Then we get back a syntax error because pandas doesn't expect an extra space when using the dot notation in accessing columns of data. So what we might do is to add an underscore in between these words instead of spaces. And to replace these spaces, we're gonna use the replace method in Python. So I'm gonna say, data.columns and then dot str and then change the dot replace method so in between the parentheses we're going to replace empty spaces comma single quote with an underscore when i run the cell then we can see the underscore in our column names so i can store all of this as our data.columns and then run the cell. Now let's look at our data frame. So when I say data.head and then run the cell, then here we can see our column names with an underscore. And I can also access one of the column when I say data.product underscore type and then run the cell. Then we can see that we get back a series of data from our product type column. However, let's say we want to rename any of the column name here from our data frame. Then we're going to use the rename method from pandas. So I'm going to say data.rename. In between the parentheses, we're going to say columns equals to a dictionary. And the key is going to be the value we want to rename from our data frame let's say the column marketing column and then the new value we want to change our column name 
which I'm going to say trade. So when I run the cell, then we see that our column name of marketing has been changed to trade. But one thing to note here is that this new name of our column has not been fully modified in our pandas data frame. Because if we call our data frame and then run the cell, then we can see that our column name is still called marketing and not trade. So to fix this, we're going to get inside our rename function and then say in place equals to true and then rerun the cell. And when I also run our data frame, now we can see our column name has been changed to trade. So now let's talk about modifying a value of row from our data frame. For example, let's say I want to modify this value of total expenses from the third row. Then I can say data, then use the log attribute. In between the square brackets, I'm going to pass in the index of that row value, which is going to be 2, then the column name, which is total expenses. Now I'm going to set this to the value 500 and then run the cell. So if we look at our data and then run the cell, then we can see that the value of total expenses from the third row has been modified to 500. Now, let me show you another way to change a single value from Pandas data frame. So I'm going to copy the code right here and then paste on our cell below. Instead of the log attributes in Pandas, we're going to use the at attribute. And one thing to note is that the at attribute is generally faster than the log attribute for accessing a single value from Pandas data frame. Then we're going to set the value to 700 and then run the cell. And if we look at our data and then run the cell, then we see the value has been changed to 700. So this wraps up our tutorial on modifying rows and columns of data using pandas. If you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful, you can support by hitting the like and subscribe button. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.